Good morning, guys. It's been a while. I'm so excited to bring you along my little surf day because we're going to check the waves, see what's up, and have a fun day together. I haven't done a surf vlog in so long, and it's because I thought no one cared, but I know a lot of you guys are new here because we hit like 9 million views last month, which is insane. So if you're new and you subscribe, thank you so much. I've been basically posting some shorts about my surfing life and I'm so happy that I see the comments and it looks like you guys are curious about surfing, where I surf, and just to know more about it. So you're making my favorite drink. If you guys are not new here, you know that I always drink a matcha in the morning. Like, look at me, I'm always dressed in green. And my name is Jade, I'm a little obsessed. <laughs> I'm a little obsessed. So we're gonna make a matcha. I use brown sugar. And then this is the matcha I use since like three years. Like I've used this for a long time, so you know it's good. Everyday matcha, I'll link it below. I just spilled my matcha everywhere. But, but no, my the matcha's actually everywhere, holy shit. This is insane. This is actually insane. I can't believe that happened. Literally, right as my camera turned off, I spilled the matcha everywhere, so we're gonna start over. I quickly wanna show you guys what I do every morning, which is check the waves. I know it doesn't look like much, but when you're looking at the cameras, you're kind of looking for how much crowd is there? Is there waves? Is there a swell? And the answer to all that is yes. It looks really fun. There's actually not that many people at like, ooh, <gasps> look at that guy. <gasps> ooh, ooh. But you can check a bunch of different spots along the coast. So if you're wondering like how surfers check for good waves, we use usually like an app or sometimes I use like the weather report <laughs> if I'm feeling really quirky. Um, but a lot of times I also just check in person. We made my matcha latte. This is the last matcha I'm making all day. I'm giving up. If this spills, it's over. I'm not gonna fight the universe, you know? <laughs> mm, but I do make the best matcha latte. Okay, we're up on my rooftop right now because you can actually see the waves from here. That's right, I can do a wave check without leaving my apartment. So there's really only two spots you can look at the waves. This one, on a big day, you can actually see the waves breaking pretty far, but since it's small, you can't really tell. That spot, which is really, really small, you can't really tell, but from my eyes, I can see if this spot is gonna break. So although it's pretty limited, it's still pretty cool. I'm able just to come up here, see if the waves are breaking from my house. But for today, we're not gonna surf here because it's a little small where I'm at, and I wanna surf some really good waves with you because my friend is actually gonna help film for me. So we're gonna go to Huntington, which is like an hour drive. But before that, I like to do a little morning meditation and I do this on my rooftop just because it's like the perfect vibe. We're actually going through a little bit of renovation right now, so don't judge this form right now. Like it looks kind of like a dump right now. But essentially what we're doing is we're going to have a rug, a bunch of pillows, some string lights, we're gonna add a picnic table, we're gonna get rid of this. It's gonna be its whole thing. Let me know if you guys want a video on how I renovate the space on my rooftop for pretty cheap because I am a cheap ass. Okay, let's do some meditation. This is what I eat before I surf. We got turkey bacon eggs with cheese and onion, a fuck ton of ketchup and bread and butter. I'm going surfing in like two hours, so this will be enough for me to digest. And it's a lot of foodies, three eggs. I don't always eat breakfast when I surf, but if it's a big surf or I'm going to Huntington, I'm eating a lot because the worst thing is when you get in the water and you're like, oh fuck, I'm hungry, but there's nowhere to eat. And then when you surf, you're just like running on like low energy. So we're on our way to Huntington. I've been in the car for 45 minutes already and we're gonna be there in about five minutes. We're gonna check the waves and I'm meeting up with a friend also. I love surfing with friends because people can be really mean in the water, like especially where the places are really good, the people can get more mean. So hopefully you guys can see me do some cool turns. If not, I will just be paddling for my life. Doing a little wave check. It's looking just a little bit washed out, like the waves aren't super clean. I don't know if I want to surf here. I 
want to surf here. What happened? It's a weird like washer to the Bestie, Marin, say hi. Slay. Ew, don't put no. that in. <laughs> we just finished surfing at Huntington. It was brutal. <laughs> Why do you have my vlog? It's brutal. As you guys can tell from the clips, Marin graciously, patiently filmed me just getting beat. Oh, you didn't even get far enough to get pounded. That's the thing. I didn't. I just got in this. I was just in the same place, going left. Like, I wanted to do a straight, but I just kept going down the line. I will just be paddling for my life. It was really eye-opening to be, you know, patient with myself. Do better tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, it's funny, because today when I was doing my daily meditation prayer, it was saying, have the same pace as nature. The secret is her patience. Ooh. So often in life, we try to go, go, go. We don't take, you know, a minute to let ourselves have mistakes, bad days, but that's a part of life. Yes! Ah! Wow! I'm at my favorite place ever, Bear Flag. They have sushi burritos and it's really yummy. It's really like a handheld roll. It's just a handheld roll, yeah. Bone apple food. Good morning, guys. It's a week later. We're gonna try this surfing thing again. I have bad days quite often, actually, like once a week. And I just wanted to show that even though you can have a bad day, it doesn't mean that the next day won't be better. We're here at Manhattan Beach Pier. So I'm excited to surf. Hopefully we get a clip or two. Like, I'm really hoping that I get a clip or two. But I wanted to share something that recently clicked in my head. I went surfing a day ago and I just remembered how frustrated it was. And then suddenly it got a wave. And I remember in that moment, like it was a weird thing that happened. I like felt different. First, I realized this entire time the reason why I'm not popping up enough is because I'm grabbing the rails. So I need to stop doing that because when I'm grabbing the rails, it delays me from standing up. The second thing I saw and realized is the reason why I'm grabbing my rails is because I'm afraid to drop in when like the wave, you know, like goes down. That's why I'm holding my rails because I'm scared. So the time I actually got a wave is when I committed without any fear. I just put my hands and go boop. So I realized it's all about confidence and that's actually something that I'm, I've always known, but like it really occurred in my head, like you surf better if you're more confident. Like it's also safer because you don't get hurt as much because you can fall like feet first. So I don't know, we'll see if I implement that. Yes, commit.